Hey everybody, David over at Frequency Frontiers, and welcome back for today's Ham Radio Minute. So, ever notice how your Wi-Fi can show full bars and still be slow or unusable? Hey, did you forget to like, subscribe, and share? It's normally not a speed problem, and it's not even a power problem. It could be a noise problem. And the exact same thing happens in ham radio. Every radio system, be it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cell phones, ham radio, it all has a noise floor. The noise floor is background RF energy. That's always there. It can come from other devices, power supplies, electronics, distant transmitters, even natural noise from space. Your signal just doesn't need to be strong. It needs to be stronger than the noise. And that difference is called a signal to noise ratio or an SNR. And here's the part that surprises people. If the noise floor is high, turning up the power often does nothing. That's why a louder Wi-Fi router doesn't fix interference. A higher power ham radio doesn't magically create contacts. It's just like you're yelling into a crowded room and the room is still loud. In ham radio, this shows up all the time. You'll hear someone say, I can't hear the stations, or I can hear stations, but nobody can hear me, or the band sound dead. Often, often the problem isn't propagation. It's local noise raising the noise floor. And that can come from cheap power supplies, LED lights, chargers, even solar inverters can wipe out weak signals. And the fix usually isn't more power. Normally, it's going to be turning off your noisy devices, using ferrite chokes on the receiving and interfering device, improving your grounding, moving the antenna away from your noise sources, or getting and or getting the antenna higher or further away. If you lower the noise floor, and suddenly the bands will come alive. And this is true for ham radio and your home Wi-Fi. And this is why radio skills still matter. Understanding noise, signal, and environment apply to home networking, emergency communications, wireless technology, even audio and electronics. So remember this. Clear signals don't come from shouting louder. They come from making things quieter. So if you want to learn more about radio, tech, a real-world signal knowledge, follow along. I'm David, KY4GM, over at Frequency Frontiers, 7-3.